Scooting is the company that coined Rapid Trigger, as far as I know. This functionality can make the keyboard more responsive as it will reduce the time for each key press by enabling the ability to change the actuation point. This feature was present on SteelSeries Apex Pro keyboards, but Wooting added as well the ability to configure the release distance, thus creating the rapid trigger functionality. To adjust per key the actuation and release distance by small increments of 0.1 mm. Now, a lot of keyboards have this functionality and you don't need to sell a kidney to get one. Today I will check two such keyboards. The first one is from a company called Ranked, the m 65 h model that is widely available on Amazon, at least in Europe. This keyboard is less than 90 euros, including taxes. The other keyboard that I have is from Umir and the model is called m 68 he again one of the cheapest out there. I want to mention that I bought the Umir keyboard directly from their store on AliExpress. As it can be seen, the box is a bit damaged, but the keyboard seems to be okay. Inside, we have the USB-C to A cable, the 65 key keyboard itself with its unique pattern, two extra switches, a keycap puller doubling as a switch puller, and the manual. As I bought the RAN keyboard from Amazon, it arrived in pristine conditions. When opening the box, we see the thank you note, a switch and a keycap puller, two extra switches, the USB-C to A cable and the keyboard itself. This one is again a 65% keyboard layout as this is what I was looking for. When put one next to the other, we can see that the Umier keyboard is a bit bigger in width and length but not taller. As it can be seen, the Umier keycaps have a shorter profile than the ones on the ranked keyboard. These are a bit thicker as well but not by much. Now let's check the Umier software. This one can be found on their website as you need to download it. Once downloaded, you are greeted with this interface, which is not the most intuitive to be honest, as it uses only icons to navigate through their app. Well, at least when hovering over an icon, you have a tooltip popping. The rapid trigger functionality can be found by clicking the second icon from left to the right. Here, you will need to select a key or a group of keys and enable the rapid trigger functionality. First, I will advise to select all keys and press all key calibration. After, you will need to select a key or a group of keys and enable the rapid trigger functionality. Once enabled, you can adjust the actuation point distance, by default it is set to 2 mm, and the press and release value. If you want to set different values, you will need to tick the separate press checkbox and after, you can adjust different values. Once finished adjusting the distances, make sure to click the apply button. When clicking the advanced key, we are greeted with three options, DKS, MT and TGL. When hovering the question mark, you will have a tooltip with the info regarding what these acronyms mean and do. To be honest, I never use them, so I can't explain exactly how these functionalities work. To the right of the advanced key, we have the light effect settings. You have some predefined settings that you can play with and also you can click on custom and create your custom RGB pattern. Clicking on special, the second icon from the last, there are a few options to disable, which are useful during gaming session as you don't want to press by mistake these key combinations. The last icon is for macros. You can create your own macros here, but I never played around in this section. Now, let's see the ranked software. Again, you will need to download it from their website. Once installed, the first tab is the general one, where you can check for firmware updates and also to enable caps lock LED, which will change the color of the RGB light when caps lock is enabled to white. The next icon in the menu is the keyboard section where you see the free profiles available and other options. You can reassign keys here and do a lot more, which I didn't care that much though. The third icon from the top is the one where you can adjust the key sensitivity, the rapid trigger functionality. You will need to select one or more keys, adjust the key down and key up values and you will see RT on. This keyboard has the minimum actuation point of 0.2 and can be adjusted by increments of 0.1 mm. Once finished configuring, make sure to press the save button. The light bulb 
as you probably already guessed it, is where you can play around with the RGB effects. Below this one, we have the macro edit panel where you can create your macros. The icon below the macro setup is for music, which I never bothered with it, so I'm not sure what it does to be honest. Umir says that their keyboard can go up to 8K polling rate, but when using keyboard inspector, my unit tops at 1K. I could not make it go above 1K to be honest. So this keyboard is on par with most keyboards out there. The rank keyboard is advertised as 1K and this is what keyboard inspector shows. So which one is better when using the rapid trigger functionality? I'm sorry to say that I don't have a high speed camera or a NVIDIA LDAT to measure the latency. So I will just share my experience. I tested both for a few days and to be honest I liked the Umir a bit more but that is just because the keycaps are lower and I can adjust the angle. When it comes to the rapid trigger functionality when using the Umir keyboard with the activation point set to 0.1mm I found it in rare occasion to be inconsistent. When I set the actuation point to 0.2mm it was flawless. One thing that I want to mention is that the switches are inconsistent in the actuation force as these switches have an initial actuation force of 40 grams plus minus 10 grams the quality control is bad there seem to be some big differences to be honest you just need to use them a bit more to make it consistent and while in gaming I didn't have any issues I wanted to mention it as another unit may have this issue on the keys that you use the most and what about the ranked keyboard? To be honest, I don't have anything to complain of. All keys feel the same. They feel a bit lighter to actuate and because the actuation starts from 0.2 mm, I didn't encounter any issues. What I don't like is the keycaps, but this is personal preferences. As this reminds me of my old HyperX TKL ABS keycaps, but I didn't perform worse. What I want to mention is that even though I had rapid trigger enabled, I didn't play better. This functionality is not that wow, at least when moving from a low profile keyboard like the Logitech G915 TKL, I can barely feel any difference with both keyboards. But maybe that's just me, cause I suck at Apex Legends. Now, which I would recommend between the two. To be honest, I will go with the ranked keyboard if you don't mind the fact that you can't adjust the keyboard angle. This is a deal breaker for me as even with an armrest, I still feel it to be a bit uncomfortable. Another selling point for the ranked keyboard is that you can buy it from Amazon. When it comes to the Umier keyboard, it's okay. But as my unit has switches with inconsistency in the initial actuation force, I can't really recommend it as I don't know which switches may be affected on your unit. This effect may loosen down the road, but I don't have the keyboard for that long to say that this is actually the case. What I want to mention is that none of the two will be my daily driver, I'll still be using my Logitech keyboard. When considering budget rapid trigger keyboards, I would have a look at the Drunk Deer G65 model that is around 15 to 20 euros more than the ranked one. If you are interested in how these keyboards sound when typing, stick around a bit more as I will demonstrate that followed by a RGB light small demo. If you liked the video, hit the thumbs up button, drop a comment below and consider subscribing to the channel to help it grow. Take care and hope to see you all in the next one.